Whiting, and I am the eighth grade English language arts teacher here at TAMS. My favorite part, well, I guess it's twofold. I think, um, one, I love the, my coworkers. Uh, they're, they're great people, and they, um, I think they, they show up every, every day, like, they're just ready to go, and it's a fun place to work. Um, and I also, the, you know, the other thing I love is the kids. They, they, <laughs> maybe not every day, but most days are also, you know, pretty amusing and excited. And they don't want you to know it, but uh, they are, and I love it. They're fun, you know, it's, it's, it's just a fun place to be. There's a billion ways we've had to change. We've had to change everything, and I think um, a lot of the um, things that teachers do and parts of teaching are these things that we don't really see. These these things that we have, these small decisions that we make in our head or in the background, or you know the the um, the stuff that happens at the front of the class is is only this really small part of it, and. Um, there are all these different components and every kid's different, you know, and what works for one kid never works for um, all kids, even if there isn't a pandemic. And I think that pandemic just exacerbated the, you know, unique needs of, of all that all the kids have. And, and you know, it's no secret that, um, uh, you know, Teenagers, I teach eighth grade, so the, the the 13 and 14 year olds are very social. It's a it's a normal part of their development, and um, the the isolation and the separation and the anxiety that most people were feeling, adults included, I think, was felt um, to a much greater degree among that young age group and. I think at the end of the day, um, it just made me have to be a lot of things, but um, more patient and flexible and kind of see the bigger picture. Okay, Dr. Strangelove. Uh, this has got to be up there. Um, Mad Max Fury Road. Um, Third one, it's probably. How about two? <laughs> we just go with two. Doctor Strange Love, Mad Max, Fear Road. Those are two amazing movies. Very different in their uh, uh, goals, but I think awesome. I think there are two things that make it uh, make a student's transition into eighth grade really successful. One is that it's a small school. Um, that means that the staff are uh, very aware of how each student is doing, not just academically, but socially. Um, it certainly doesn't mean that we're always up in their business, but it gives us, you know, if a, a good handle on how they're doing and we can um, let's say monitor or gently guide the situation towards a safe and, and place. You know, making new friends can be really hard, especially for um, students who are new to the country or new to the community. And um, because we know all our kids so well, we can, you know, we don't always get it right, but we can certainly suggest that they try to hang out with this group, or oh, you like you know robotics? These kids are really into that, and and we can, um, you know, sort of be the gentle hand that guides the kids to um, the right group of peers that will make them feel welcome. We also have a really good group of good kids who we can rely on to make visitors feel welcome. <laughs> I have two young kids, so spare time is not something that's familiar to me. Um, I have a four-year-old and two-year-old boy, and they're awesome, and I love them. Um, and I spend a lot of time caring for them. Um, when we do have uh, more free time, like over the summer, um, 
We love going out on our boat. We were fortunate enough to have a boat and the family spends most of the time cruising around Casper Bay, fishing, you know, soaking up the very short main summer and trying to maximize it as much as we can. I think that if you, you know, you're a student and, and there's one thing you need to know about TAMS is that it's whatever you're into, it's here. We have a place for whatever your interest is and despite this seemingly small size, there are endless possibilities for academic pursuits, athletic pursuits, um, you know, musical, dramatic, um, robotic, like, um, and there are groups of kids that do all of those things. So there is a place for you and um, you will not be the only one in it. And I think that's what, what is great about this place, among many other things. <laughs>